recently I was doing my letter, my monthly letter to my partners and those in my, my fellowship, FaithWorks Fellowship of Churches and Ministries. And I sat down at my computer. The way the Lord does it with me is I don't put a, do an outline. I sit down with him and he begins to, to talk to me about what to say. And man, that is, that is fun. So um, he said, look up John uh, 2022. I'm like, all right, Lord, 2022, what have you got to say? And when I uh, began to read it, I went back and read the whole story. So I'm just going to tell you what it says. On the evening of the first day of the week, when the disciples were together with the doors locked for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said, peace be with you. Now here's uh, 20, uh, that's, that's 2020. After he said this, he showed them his hands inside and the disciples were overjoyed when they saw the Lord. I bet. Again, Jesus said, peace be with you. As the father has sent me, I am sending you. And then 2022 says, and with that, he breathed on them and said, receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive anyone their sins, they are forgiven. If you do not forgive them, they are not forgiven. He breathed on them just like he, it reminds me of when Adam breathed, uh, Adam was breathed into by, by the Lord and he came to life. It's like Jesus was saying, I have, I have purchased everything Adam stole. And just like my father breathed life into Adam, I am breathing the life of my father back into you. It is done. I have done it. That's very exciting. And then he said, peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, I am sending you. And so then he breathed on them. This is very crucial, folks. He said, receive the Holy Spirit. So, of course, that means that if, if you don't think the Holy Spirit's for today, that's just not right. Anyway, <laughs> it's, not, it's not biblically correct. And I could show you in the book of Acts chapter 19 that there's two there's two baptisms, but we won't go there today. That's for another day. But right now, he said even more than receive the Holy Spirit. He gave them authority to forgive sins. He said, you go in my name and forgive sins. Release people in my name. Just like I did when I was on the earth. I forgave people and I'm, asked, I'm giving you authority. Now this aggravates the enemy more than anything. He fights the Holy Spirit and fights our authority because he can't come against it. So he will, he hates that more than anything. He fears it. You know, the enemy's full of fear. That's why he's a fear monger because he's full of fear. He knows his time is short. He said, oh no, don't release these people into authority. I'm cooked. You know, I, I won't be able to operate. So Jesus said, receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive anyone his sins, if you forgive anyone their sins, they are forgiven. If you don't forgive them, they're not forgiven. Wow. If we are encountering people that are in trouble or they're hurting or they're, they're ugly or they're angry, and we're not releasing them, if we're not forgiving them, then we are binding them. Jesus said, whatever you bind is bound, whatever you lose is loose, back in John before he went to the cross. This is crucial, folks, and it's very serious that we need to release anybody. We can't hold out against anyone because if we bind them, then the Holy Spirit can't come in and deal with them. You see, we have to release them to a merciful God that is just, and if you have family members, you have people in your life and you have, you're harboring unforgiveness, then you are binding them. And you'll be responsible for that because Jesus said, don't do it. So it's so easy to do. You feel like you, you're, they're getting away with something and that what you feel like doesn't matter. But that's not what's happening. God is a just God. He's a God of vengeance, not revenge, but he's a God of vengeance. So you have to release them into the merciful just hands of God, and then he can deal with it. And you're free. Don't get even. Get free. 
and let that let God deal with that person. And you'll see miracles happen in your relationships and other people's lives. And plus, you're going to walk free. And that's what Jesus said. That was, this is John 2022. So that's a word for night for 2022. We're going to forgive people their sins. We're going to go out in the power of the Holy Spirit, and we're going to loose people into the kingdom of God. And I bless you to do that in Jesus' name. Do something about it today. Hi, I'm Douglas Wilson with Walking on the Word Ministries. Thank you so much for watching TMCI TV. We hope you enjoyed and were blessed with this week's Tuesday encouragement. You can help us share the good news by liking, subscribing, and turning on your notifications. This will help you keep up with the latest news and newest episodes. Be sure to join us for a new Tuesday encouragement every Tuesday on TMCI TV.